get a welcome you'll never forget. What I want, so I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sitting. And this is just the beginning. I'm closing in and not getting. There ain't no point in resisting. Giving up, I can do it. Giving right, that's the thing. Every night I got a dream. I've been tied to the scene. Out on stage, here on screen. Okay, it's a dream. And I pray as a team. One day, living me. If I want it, then I get it. Hey, Dad, I'm a credit. Push myself to the limit. If I play it, then I'll win it. I'm just saying, I'm just living for the Welcome back to Camp Geek Squad. I am your camp director. Don't know why I'm singing this little bit. Do, do, do. Anyway, um, as you can tell by today's title, we are talking about Kirishima. And one, why do people hate him? Like, if you hate him, what's wrong with you? Also, we're also going to say why he should be the bar, you know, that you compare others to. And I'll explain that more. Now, this video was, um, essentially, I got the idea from a song, a Kirishima rap, Unbreakable, by Daddy Fat Snaps. And that's fat with a PH um, on YouTube. And it is a beast of a song. I'll play you a clip now. Rock hard, boy, you don't want this. Go ahead, throw this. I'm going to pop those riffs. Whoa. Can't stop, only hope, try quick. Hand sharp as an axe and I do not miss. Rock hard, boy, you don't want this. Go ahead, throw this. I'm going to pop those riffs. Whoa. Can't stop, only hope, try quick. Hand sharp as an axe and I do not miss. I thought that I was worthless. Because everybody else seemed perfect. I was in the back of the class with a quirk so bad that I thought I wasn't worth I thought that I was worthless, cause everybody else seemed perfect. I was in the back of the class with a quirk so bad that I thought I wasn't worth As you can see, that song absolutely slaps. So go check it out. And remember, I do not own any of the art or music you see in this unless stated otherwise. So I do not currently. Now, for those of you who are wondering, oh, quickly actually, before we get started, if you hear any noise in the background, it's because I'm currently, there. I have gardeners in there. You know, using machinery. Um, also, if you haven't checked out last week's video, please check it out. It's only got four views, um, and which obviously is a bit down. So that's two videos in the last few weeks haven't even got past ten views. So please go check them out. That is changes I would make to Naruto plus a challenge for you, and those challenges like I really need your help with. They're like things that help the channel, uh, the video, and it's like a way of getting you guys involved in the channel. Also, it's like. It's like a little fun what if series with Naruto that I'll be doing. And the other one is Would You Rather Burn or Goku's Power. Anyway, enough of that. Let's jump straight into today's video. Today's video, as you can tell, is why Kirishima should be the bar. Now, what I mean by the bar is I mean the bar you compare other potential heroes, class 1A students, at a UA students, and heroes too. You know, he's the bar because he's never going to be top tier. Now, I know some of you are going to get mad at me saying that, but he's not. I love him. You know, he's one of my favorite characters, but he's not going to be one of the top, you know, he's not going to be Todoroki or Bakugo or Deku, you know, that's just, they're just on a different level. Now, having said that, personally at the moment, I generally think Kirishima is on par with Todoroki or close to him. I know people, like, when I say that, I mean on at the anime point so far, you know, after the training arc, um, I'm just, a, I'm on the Endeavor Agency, you know, arc. I haven't watched, I haven't read the manga yet. And I would actually say the third best is probably... Uraka. Um, but anyway, that's enough about that. Essentially, but we all know Todoroki is going to be more powerful. Bakugo, I'd say, is the second best, and then it's Deku. But I think Kirishima should be the bar because he's got every quality you want in a hero. Is he kind? Yes. Is he caring? Yes. Does he put other people's safety first? Yes. Does he have grit and determination? Yes. Does Is he just overall, he's like good in everything? It's just. He just doesn't have those special things that will take him up to the next level. And that's why I think if you want to see if someone's top tier, you need to see are they on level with Kirishima, above Kirishima, or below Kir Kirishima. Those, I think, are your... And I just think he's the perfect reason why, and I'll explain. And just, he, I'll explain more in a sec. Now, as a lot of you know, Kirishima is an absolute badass. He starts off, you know, pretty much average. I'm going to say this. He's not the smartest person in the shed, and he doesn't have the best quirk. But he has a good quirk, 
being sturdy, you know, and he's proven that he's better than uh, Tetsu from the Class 1B, who has a similar quirk. But he was able to improve his quirk with training. Now, I know you're saying, oh, they're all improved, but I don't think they have improved. I think they've just got more skill and more experience, a lot of them, you know. Um, and those who have improved their quirk are Deku, and um, Todoroki's improved his fire, and Bakugo, and I think lots, and, and a few others. I think most people are either learning about their abilities more, or, or getting more experience, but he's actually improved. He gained another form, you know? He's got his sturdy, but then he's got, like, his unbreakable form. And that right there shows he's got the dedication and he's got the skills. And he probably has another form or two that we, you know, to come in the future. That will make him tough. Like, And as as the song, I in the song, it says he doesn't have a flashy quirk in the song I showed earlier. Um, I'm not sure if it showed it in the preview, but in the extra song. And... He doesn't have a flashy quirk, no, and that's probably one of the few re one of the reasons he will stop getting top tier. Now, I'm not saying he won't be a popular hero because Red Right, he's already got a bit of a name for himself, and he's going to be so polite and nice and tough and a bit intimidating and everything you want in a hero. Now, in terms of intelligence, he's average intelligence. He's no Ida, Deku, Bakugo, Todoroki, or Momo. Those are the intelligent ones in the class. Um, Bakugo, because he's a nerd, he is, he goes to bed at 8, and, you know, he's making sure he's towards the top of the class and everything, and his only downfall is his aggression, you know, that and his, like, personality. Uh, Deku is just a genius, I mean, we all know that, like, he has, since he was young, he's been making detailed info on characters, Momo probably had private tutors, but is also naturally smart, Ida is by the rules smart, and Todoroki is the son of Endeavor, so it would have been taught everything. But Kirishima is no slouch, she's not towards the bottom of the class. Also, he the way I see it is he's probably constantly being marked just under the main group, you know what I mean? Like he's not the he's not as fast as Deku or Bakugo or Todoroki or Ida. But he's not slow. He's not as strong as Deku and um I forgot the name of the one who um, makes cakes a lot in lots of people's fan fiction. The one who um, eats sugar to get strong. He's not as strong as him, um, you know, physically, and but he's one of the tougher. He's one of the more sturdy ones. Um, and essentially, all over the board, I generally think he's one of the best, but not the best. You know, in anything apart from maybe being sturdy. And the reason I think he should be the bar is because he literally, I think, separates the. Bakugos and Dakus and maybe even Ida in some respects to the Ochako and um, Froppy. I think Ochako and Froppy are on his level. I think those three are the three to beat. You know what I mean? Like Mineta's good, Ashida is good, um, Denki's good, but they're not quite on that level. Now Denki, I think, could get on that level, even even maybe even surpass them if he can stop getting his brain fried every time he uses his quirk. I mean. It's not the best. But generally, I think... But I think with Froppy, Froppy excels a lot more than Kirishima. But she also, I think, has more weaknesses. You know, she's not as sturdy and she's not as all well-rounded as him. But she's also better. Uh, same with Ochako, you know. Uh, her, she's very good with her quirk, Ochako. She, um, she knows how to fight a little bit as well. But I think Kirishima is not just power-wise the perfect hero, but I think ideology and just the other side, you know, like All Might and Deku, they're the prime heroes, but other than that, Kirishima, and quite frankly, I think if Stain was to do, was to, like, check everyone in 1A, Deku and Kirishima would be the only ones I would 100% say with certainty he would be on board with, and I think everyone else would be where it kind of if he's Ochako's on her way to becoming that type of hero, because she's less thinking about money now and more about, can she save those heroes? You know, who saves the heroes type thing. But he is just all around an absolute, I think, badass and overall just well, you know. And I think he is the bar. So when I compare anyone in 1A or anyone in U, um, UA or anyone or, or any future potential heroes, I compare them to Kirishima first. Are they as strong as him? 
are, are they as good as him? And, and, and if it's not, then I look down to others below him. If it is, then I check for others in his, his category, like Ochako and Froppy. And then if they're better by quite a bit, then I compare them. Then I would say that they're the top heroes, you know, they're Todoroki level. Or maybe even Bakugo level or Deku. Okay, no one's going to be Deku level. I, but I do think Deku's going to be insane. But I also, having said that, I think Bakugo is probably going to be one of the best second heroes of all time. I think he'll be a lot better than Endeavor. And I think Todoroki will be better than Endeavor. So the Age of Heroes will go up. But he is the bar, I think. And we should all use him as the bar to see if someone's a good hero or not. A top hero. He separates the good from the great or the great from the, the best. That's him, I think. Now that we've addressed Kirishima as the bar to compare everyone else, I also want to say, people are giving him hate. And I don't know why. Like, some people are saying it's because he calls... He goes on about manliness, but it's not toxic masculinity like a lot of people tend to think. It's, I mean, I'm pretty sure he would call Deku manly for crying, you know, letting out his emotions. He, it, when he says manly, he's not talking about, like, traditional manly stuff. He's talking about essentially being honest and true to yourself and things like that. And if you hate Kirishima, I am very worried for you as a person because he's an adorable person. Speaking of people I'm worried about, and also annoyed about, I'm going to briefly talk about, um, what are they called? Love interest shipping. Ship. Okay, first off, we're going to talk about the weirdest, one of some of the weirdest people. Anyone who shipped All Might and Deku, or Deku and any of the teachers, or any teacher and Deku, or, or any teacher and the students, um, are you guys okay? Like, you guys need help? Because, I mean, that's... That's illegal. That's what it is. It's don't get me wrong. Some of the teachers, or oh, some of the heroes like Mercuro, I can't say any. We, but we all know who I'm on about. It's very attractive, and we all want to date her. Let's be honest. But that's besides. But that's 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 different from shipping her with fifteen year olds. No. Also, anyone who ships anyone other than Coda with Aerie, and even that, they don't know each other. But you can you can make a few storylines, but she's a child, so just no. Any also anyone who ships someone who is straight with someone of the same gender, like Deku. Deku straight. The creator said he's straight. In the show, it shows he's straight. So do not ship him with Todoroki, Kirishima, Denki, Ida, and definitely not Bakuga. Now I can understand shipping Todoroki with Deku, like. Saying he likes Deku because of everything Deku's done for him and having not having his sexuality confirmed yet. And quite frankly, I don't know what I, I don't think he's gay, but then I or bisexual, but I don't know. Having said that, I don't even ship him with Momo. I don't I, I, like they don't have that chemistry, you know? And anyway, anyway, but the worst as, as I said is Bakugo and Deku. Because Deku's straight, he likes Ochako, and Bakugo su suicide baited Deku, which is a terrible thing. And now he's improving. I didn't like Bakugo for ages until he started to like redeem himself. Now he's redeeming himself. He's one of my favorite characters. But that still doesn't mean you ship him with someone he told to kill himself. That's just that's just not on. It's just not right. So if you um, ship them, I mean. I guess I'll leave a number at the end of the video for you guys to call help because you need psychology. Now, anyone else, I think anyone else is fair game, you know? Uh, like, you could sh ship Todoroki and Momo or, or Momo and Jiro, even though I clearly think Jiro and Denki are going to become a thing. But, like, I, everywhere, like, we don't know anyone's sexuality other than Mineta's and Deku's and Ochako's. Everyone else is up for debate, so that's fine. And... and so, so, like, I'm not going to get annoyed with someone shipping um, characters with other people of the same gender, you know, because they because they because they want them to be. So, so I don't mind any LGBT shipping unless the character is canonically straight, like Deku and Ochaku and Mineta. Mind you, if you ship anyone with Mineta, I'm a little, little worried. I do want the best for Mineta, though, but I want him to improve. Anyway, that's my little TED talk for today. Um, please watch last week's video. Uh, I know it's a bit long, 25 minutes, but it's a fun little what-ifs series. 
Or you could check out um, the one before that that's done quite well. How many seasons of Percy Jackson like, should we have on Disney Plus? Or please go check out Would You Rather Barnes Regeneration or Power Like Goku? Anyway, I've been your camp director. Um, I'm still looking for other faculty member, any uh, camp editors, any uh, camp, any uh, counsellors, anything like that. Camp counsellors will help do things on this channel run things or um, even be on the channel, uh, camp editors or edit videos etc, anything like that. And there are lots of different roles in the camp and then obviously you guys are the um, the fans, my fans or my followers, um, however you want to say it, are essentially the, the people in the camp, you know, the, what's the word, customers? No, that doesn't seem right, but you get what I mean.